Hi and welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the percent. This is the third type of problem we have in our types of percent problems. So in our previous two videos, we have learned how to find the whole and how to find the part in a percent problem. So today we're going to be learning the third type of percent problem, which is the last type of percent problem, which is how to find the percent. So let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say that we have to find, so it says 10 is what percent of 60. The easiest way to solve this is by setting up a proportion. A proportion is two fractions that are equal to one another. So in this, um, when we're doing percent problems, our proportion is going to have, first a, a fraction is going to be our percent. In this case, we don't know what the percent is, but we do know that percent is out of 100. So our denominator for the first fraction is going to be 100. However, since we don't know what the percent is, because it's asking us to find the percent, we're going to represent this by a variable such as x. So we have our first fraction, which is x over 100. And in a proportion, they are equal to one another, so we're going to put an equal sign. And our next fraction is going to be is over of. Is over of, we can uh, determine which is going to be the is and which is going to be the of by looking at the keywords. So it says 10 is what percent of 60? So it's already telling us that 10 is going to be the is and 60 is going to be the of. So remember, it's is over of, so it's going to be 10 over 60. And there we have it, our proportion. So now in order to solve for x, we're going to do cross multiplication. So multiply x by 60 and 10 by 100. So we get 60x is equal to 1,000 divided by 60 on both sides. We get x is equal to, cancel out the zeros, and we have 100 divided by 6. So if we go ahead and do the long division here on the side, 100 divided by 6. 6 goes into 10 once. We get 4 and 0. 6 times 6 is 36. And we are left with 4 at a decimal point and a 0. 6 times 6 once again is going to give us 36. And we're going to get another 4. So this is going to be repeated decimals. So we are going to get, once again, we add another zero, it's going to get six again. And so we get 436 and whatsoever. So when we get to the um, most, um, in most cases, whenever you have a repeated decimal, you only go up to the hundredths place. So in this case, we have our hundredths place. So we get 16.66, okay? So x is equal to approximately 16.66. That means 10 is 16.66% of the number 60. And this is an approximate because this was a repeating decimal. So this was our first example. Let's go ahead and do our second example. All right, so this time, let's say we have 6 is, oops, sorry. Okay, so 6 is what percent of 20. So remember, set up a proportion. So our first um, fraction is going to be the percent. And if you notice the pattern, these are the same exact questions, except the numbers are changed. So it's going to be the same way. Our, we don't know the percent, so it's going to be represented by a variable such as x. And the denominator, of course, is going to be 100, since the percent is out of 100, is equal to 6 is, and then what percent of 20? So it's going to be 6 over 20. So here, if you notice the pattern, is once you've um, got a hang of setting up one problem, the rest of them are really easy to set up and solve. So when you do this, you're going to do cross multiplication, 20 times x and 6 times 100, you get 20x is equal to 600, divided by 20 on both sides. x is equal to, and then we cross out the zeros, 60 divided by 2, which is 30. That means 6 is 30% of the number 20. And that is how you find the percent in 
uh, percent problem. And this is the last um, topic we have in the three types of percent problems, all right? So thank you for watching. And if you haven't checked out the other videos on finding percent problems, then please go ahead and do so. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.